Welcome back! We have found the settlement on Fleabot. And so far there is no sign of that droid that was tracking us, which is a good thing. So let's look into this thing. Apparently this is a replica of a beast called Mark. Let's see if the game knows what that is. No, it doesn't. Does it also does not know what sh shop means. Look, world o wonders. Aha! Oh. But we already saw that message. Let's see, there seems to be a display case here. You peer through the glass with a display case and find a cute and cuddly little creature. A small sign on the glass informs you that this is an Antarian slime devil. How cute! Ooh, I want to see that up close. Sure, it's perfectly safe. Or perhaps not. Yikes! They may be cute, but only an idiot would get near one. Looks like you won't be around to appreciate the other diverse wonders of this garden spot of the universe. Okay, well, we're dead again. No picture this time. Let's leave the uh, slime devil where it is then, and simply go inside. Howdy, stranger! My name's Blatz, Fester Blatz. Welcome to World of Wonders. Go ahead, have a look at some of the trendiest items in the known universe. Make the most of your vacation bakazoid. Well, let's take a look. The cast-off refuge of a dozen worlds clings to every available surface of the store. We're astonished at the diversity. We're even more astonished that someone would buy this stuff. Looks like he has postcards. You examine one of the many interesting postcards. And it's a postcard of Arrakis, known as Dune, with a picture of a sandworm. Arrakis, a great spot for winter travel. Arrakis holds many delights for the adventurous vacationer. Nothing can compare with a blinding dust storm or being crushed by a sandworm. Um, I'll pass. Any others? You examine one of the many interesting postcards. This looks like a bunch of stars with some black in the middle. Black Hole Bertha. Like a giant interstellar vacuum, Black Hole Bertha comes sweeping through the galaxy. All travelers are advised to stay away from Bertha. Just buy the postcard, then tell everyone you went there. I guess we could do that. Ortiga! Hey, that's the planet we saw on the navigation scanner before. Ortiga! The volcanoes of Ortiga are constantly reshaping its surface. Rest in heat-resistant underwear, the hearty traveler can find a lava lover's paradise on this starkly enjoyable planet. This is actually a hint. It tells us that we need heat-resistant underwear to visit Ortiga. Roberta Land! Uh, is that what I think it is? Roberta Land! Come join the, fu the fun at the fun park of the future! See characters from your favorite stories come to life again and again! Recently revised, so don't miss a single thrilling scene! I guess it refers to Roberta Williams? In which case, I guess those characters coming to life would be characters from King's Quest or something. Oh, he's saying something? How about Nas or Ad on a stick? Kids will just love this. We're talking airs of fun for the whole family. Just look at how cute this little guy is. Oh, that sounds nice. Let's buy Orat. Everything here costs 25 buckazoids, and you don't have that much. Oh, well, that sucks. Uh, let's just look at some more postcards. Oh. That's black. Beta Alpha Starless Region. Looking for some real solitude? Come to a place that's so far from everything that you can't even see stars. Mind-numbing boredom greets you as you drift aimlessly through nothing. A must for the brain dead. That would be an ideal spot for Roger then. Wish you were here instead of me. At Choron. 
or something. Acheron. The friendly creatures of Acheron are a delight for young and old alike. Tame enough to come right up and caress you, yet wild enough to slash you to shreds if provoked. That sounds nice. And I think we flooped around. Yes. Oh well, that was fun. Let's see what else he has to say. Now here's Red Hot Auden, the official Astro Chicken flight hat. You'll really turn some hats in this sporty little number. It's mold after the hot new arcade game that's sweeping the galaxy. That sounds interesting. Let's got some other stuff here. Let's look at the shelves. The shelves are arrayed with some fine examples of the natural wonders of this planet. Also some worthless junk that can only be found in a fine tourist establishment such as this. And it looks like he has a lot of gems. Many colorful gems are proudly displayed. Why, those green gems at the one end, j uh, at the end there, look just like the Orium in your pocket. Hmm. That means he might be interested in that. Going to any high temp planets? This nice pair of thermoweave underwear will keep your internal environment pleasant on even the sweatiest world. worlds. Oh, that sounds like something we would need if we want to visit that Ortega place. But we're going to need some Buckazoids, so let's see if he wants to buy our gem. Ooh. My, my. That certainly is one fine hunk of Orium. It sure is. I'll take it off your hands for 350 bucks, Zoids. What do you say? Of course, you never take the first offer. No. I'll take it off your hands for 400 bucks, Zoids. What do you say? No. 425 bucks, Zoids. And this is the one you want to take because you won't go any higher. At least this time there's no uh, jet package you can miss out on if you don't take the best offer. And he loops back around. Well, we're going to buy all of the stuff he's offering. We're going to buy Orat. Wise choice. I'm sure you'll be very, very pleased. And we're going to buy the Thermo Weave underwear in case you want to visit Ortiga. And we also want to buy the flight hat because it gives points. You can try and wear the hat. You don the jaunty hat. You feel more sporty already. Yay. Um, let's see what we have. We have the flight hat. Wow, your official Astro Chicken flight hat. Man, the babes will really dig you in this. Yeah, I'm sure. Thermal weave shorts. They keep you cool and you're oh so stylish. Or right, on a stick. You can open his mouth and close his mouth. Hours of fun for all. Um, okay. Orat, by the way, is the beast from Space Quest 1, which we killed on, um, whatever the planet was called. Uh, I can't remember the name, damn it. Corona, that was the name. The, the beast we called on Corona, we killed on Corona, that was Orat. It seems that they made a toy out of him. How nice. Well, that's uh, all we can get here, so let's leave. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, looks like lightning is getting close. Better be careful out there. I'm sure. And we... <laughs> oh, there goes the flight hat. So, this is Roger Wilco, the man I have been sent across the universe to track down and terminate. I am not impressed. You were too easy to find. You tend to leave a mess wherever you go. Ironic, considering he's a janitor. Seems you forgot to pay for that Labonian terror beast mating call whistle. Now let's see, with interest that comes to 400,000 buckazoids. I don't think you've got that kind of cash on you, hmm? No, I didn't think so. The good people at the Jipazoid Novelty Company are most displeased. Non-payment is a serious offense. But lucky for you, I'm in a good mood today. I will count to ten real slow, then I track you down. If you make it to your ship, I forget I see you. But if I catch you again, I dust you like bunt cake.
Now remember, back in Space Quest 2, I made a point of um, very explicitly pointing out the fact that this mating call whistle was in fact free according to the order form. So why they're sending this droid after me, I don't know. I guess it's um, fraud on their part or something. So we're in trouble now. We'll have to deal with it in the next video.